here we are in Dahab, Egypt. You can actually see Saudi Arabia from here. I'm going to try to sneak up on one of my friends. Ah, dude, I was trying to sneak up on you. <laughs> Look who it is, let's take a video. <laughs> Five dude. years. How are wow. you? <laughs> I'm great. Yeah. Small world. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Father Han meeting one of his Instagram followers. <laughs> so tell me, bro, about your experience with the PCR. Uh, actually, I was supposed. To, I came here to uh, 573 57 Hospital uh, for the children's cancer. And uh, actually, a couple of days back, I booked through the phone call uh, for them to come over to my place to take the PCR test. Uh, however, they didn't call me back, so I thought, let me come and check it up. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. And it was a very nice surprise yeah, for me. All of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden like, wow, like, what a small world. Our local internet celebrity, Badr Khan, uh, giving his autograph. One world. <laughs> one day, not one day, because today is the, uh, we have one world. No, but actually, his story was so inspiring, you know. Here we are in the hanging church in Al Qahra, Masr, Cairo, Egypt. Oh, this is beautiful. You can see why they call it the hanging church. Kind of looks a little bit like the hanging gardens of Babylon. Shui Shui. Ah. 
All right. So here we are in the old city of Cairo, Islamic Cairo as it is known. Uh, this structure, I guess you could call it, was originally built in the 12th century by Saladin Ayyubi, commonly known as Saladin in the West. All these military fortifications were built by his dynasty and his successors to defend against the Crusaders and their Christian kingdoms in the Levant. And then afterwards, after Egypt became a part of the Ottoman Empire, a military commander known as Muhammad Ali, the Ottoman, not the boxer, he became the Hadiwe, or the religious leader, governmental leader of Egypt, and originally got a sort of quasi-independence for Egypt from the Ottoman Empire. And anyway, this mosque was dedicated to him, Muhammad Ali. This one is about 200 years old. Oh, there's a wedding here, how nice. There's three weddings. Three weddings all at once. All right, who's all Vince right, Vaughn and who's gonna be Owen Wilson? <laughs> I wanna be Vince Vaughn. Wait, I can't be Owen Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. There it is, the Mosque of Muhammad Ali. 1246 Al Hijra, 1830 Anno Domini. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Second attempt. Here we go. Here's the beautiful. Wow, this is one of the most beautiful mosques I've ever seen in my life. Only on par with the Masjid al Kufa, the Al Kufa, Rak, Karib. Yeah, this is a very interesting looking mosque because due to the minaret's shape and the shape of the domes, it does have a very Ottoman Turkish style, which would make sense since Muhammad Ali was born in the Ottoman Empire and he did serve them. And at the time, Egypt was officially part of the empire and then nominally part of the empire during his lifetime. So what do you think, Brother Han? Is it the most oh, beautiful I'm mosque so you've proud. ever seen? I'm so proud that 100 years ago, uh, our grandfathers came here and like built this beautiful mosque. Mm -hmm. You know how beautiful it is? Like instead of leaving uh, blood behind, leaving this beautiful structure behind. Absolutely. And you can see Al Masjid Al Rifai from here, where Muhammad Reza Shah Pahlawi is buried. Right there. 